your voice yet? Oh, oh, I'll just wait for you then. We're already I'll 15 minutes off. late. We're already finished. This is not a professional Who's that? Nat this type three. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is such an amateur live stream. Do All right. Play the See, this one's supposed to stay up, and I sound pitiful. <laughs> oh, my God. No. <laughs> hey, I welcome. I my voice to begin with. Nah, your voice yes. sounds amazing. Don't rob the people of it. So, look, this is, what is this, like the fifth friggin' try on this? What up, Spotless? Is this literally like the fifth time we've tried this? Legitly, it's 512. Something <laughs> like that. So, literally something like that. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. What's up, <laughs> Powerhouse? A Rambo, Peace, Dibs, Harry. I saw somebody else too. I missed you. Sorry, bud. Miguel, what's up, kid? Yo, so this is Headshots Spotless and Humanities. Is Say it again, please. Spotless was Spotless. first. What is thoughtless? That's a, spotless. Like you have no, no thoughts. No spots. Like, like oh, Dalmatian spotless. Spot? Yes, yes. Congratulations, yeah. congratulations. Um, <laughs> congratulations on, on being the MVP. Dirty Worker is my junior, and yet you're the one creating a fake YouTube channel with my name in it. Hi. Hmm. Your logic is flawed, sweetheart. Pretty sure I'm your daddy. All right. So, uh, welcome back to. Headshots and Hi. Humanities, our fifth <laughs> attempt at the human beings crave violence live stream kit. I feel like I've done this intro too many times. I almost wanted to just change up the topic because we've like done a half hour on this topic like three times now and never yes, quite get through it. I get that and I'm with that. Yeah. But the whole point of doing these streams is to have something different and to leave up. You yes. Know? So it doesn't, and this is like kind of one of those topics where like everybody has an input. So it's yes. one of those topics where you should like continue to do. So that way, like it'd be interesting everybody's opinions. Yeah. And like, watch how you got it. So. Yeah. And I have, yeah, I have the it chat works. up in front of me tonight on the screen. So I I'm going to get it. much better I chat engagement. I'm really looking forward to that. So let Hopefully. me just, let me just, let me just intro this real quick for the 75th time for any of you who've watched in the past, you already know what this is, but basically what we're talking about today is in terms of the headshots and humanities, um, series that we're doing. It's basically, oh, obviously the headshots is running around in free mode. We're in a free aim session looking to hit some headshots, right? The humanities piece is what we're doing on the live stream where we have a topic of discussion related to the humanities. The humanities include everything from philosophy to history to psychology to the arts. You know, we're not like non-technical spaces, but anything related to, um, you know, the social studies, if you will. So um, the first stream that we did was in relation to some crazy live stream podcast type oh, dude, Alex work. Jones, getting deplatformed. Um, and we talked about uh, video game violence that a lot of times politicians like to point to video games as a source of violence. Uh, in young people, but you know, it's been debunked a million times. And the reality is human beings love violence. We like it in our entertainment. And you can see that portrayed in <laughs> all of the most popular movies, all the most popular music, video games, um, any form of entertainment. I mean, all the way back to the Roman Colosseum and feeding Christians to lions, right? People love violence. We love it. We crave it. Um, and research has shown that human response to violence um, literally occurs in the same part of the brain that is like your pleasure center whether you're talking about sexual pleasure or you know just eating a big ass fat piece of delicious cake or whatever you know that center of your brain that likes that lights up that says "Ooh, I like this this is good when people are watching fights that's what I, that center of the brain lights up like yes I'm sad you're satisfying this natural craving that you have for violence. And again, you don't have to look far in terms of entertainment or elsewhere to see that this is just a natural fact. And you've probably observed it in your own personal behavior. Um, so that's what we're going to be talking about. And again, this is a continuation on a discussion that we had in the first episode of Headshots and Humanities. We're going to talk about this tonight. And this, who knows, as the discussion progresses, it may emerge whatever the next topic is. But that's what we want this series to be, is essentially a, like a stream of consciousness, where we pick a topic from the previous discussion and we do it, you know, another stream on it. Yeah? That's what we're mm -hmm. doing. 
acceptable kit oh kit hold up before we get too deep into this uh, i was gonna say before something about we that. go too deep oh what the f why is it white background I don't know. I was just going to ask you about that, actually. I did a PNG, which, like, if you look at the cutouts on the patches, the patches are clean, right? So this yeah. was definitely a PNG that I created with transparent background, like I removed the black background. Oh, kid, I'm sorry. I'm, now i got to try this again. I wonder if they, like, changed the format where you can't have PNGs anymore with Maybe. the uh, transparency in the background. That stinks. But, yeah, guys, for those of you who are channel sponsors, check it out. You can spam your <laughs> Firefox kit emoji. We got a fox with lots of fire, and it was picked out by my amazing co-host, Lord Firefox Kit. So now she can't complain I, I that it looked like some kind of anime furry sex freak that we had as her last emoji. So this is your new one. It is hand-picked by Lord Kit. So... I assume to me, okay. I did. I I gave actually no. It is picked by you because I gave you two options. Yes. So either one, I'm completely fine. Kid, hit me, kid, kid, hit me up on the last emoji, and she goes, she goes, dirty. Do you know what furries are? And I was like, whoa, damn, <laughs> kid. I was like, why don't you tell me? <laughs> she was like, no, I knew what she was talking about. I knew she was talking about the emoji. It was really funny. Was He's like, like oh. mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like. Kid, you know, not to be, because, like, I'm not trying to be, like, you uh -huh. know, taking uh -huh. over your stuff, and I appreciate the creativity, and, but... What's up, Misfit? Oh, my gosh. Let's, let's go ahead and, like, let's get some other options But in when here. a girl slides <laughs> in your DMs and is like, do you know what furries are? It's like, whoa, whoa wait a minute. I don't know where this conversation's oh, going. Whatever. I don't know what kind of stuff Kit's whatever. into. I know she likes foxes, but... <laughs> nah, to be honest, that's mild compared to what I send you. I send you some off the wall questions sometimes. You know that. Indeed. Bless them. Indeed, which is what is going to make Bless for a great them. live stream. So next question is: uh, Are there any channel sponsors that are in the chat right now that would like to join us on mic for this discussion? You are more than welcome to join us if you're one of those folks that has access to those custom emojis. If you got one of those green names where you pay every month. To support this channel and it is very much Dibs. appreciated you are more than welcome to join so just oh man damn it sorry i just got a text message as i'm looking at my screen so for any of you in the, in the chat right now that have one of the green sponsor names please feel free and uh we'll get you in here we'll get you in here okay so who do we got i got a misfit wants an invite <clears throat> misfit what's your uh what's your psn bro We'll get you added up. All right, Misfit, yo, can you send me a send me a friend request, Misfit, right now? With uh, you don't even have to post up your PSN in the chat if you don't want to, but just send me a uh, send me an invite or or a friend request, and just put you know Misfit or sponsor or something like that in the friend request so that I can pick you out from the thousands from friggin' friend requests I have. Uh, what's up, EP? Welcome to the stream, man. Nice to see you, bro. Um had fun playing with EP and free mode the other day. We jumped into a session and uh, literally, like I see EP outside my clubhouse, I, ro I roll up on him like just to give him a nice little salute. <laughs> boom, orbital cannon. 30 seconds later, boom, orbital cannon. 30 seconds later, again and again and again. Got hit like 17 like, friggin' orbital like, cannon strikes. so happy to visit you, dirty <laughs> idiot. <laughs> right. So right. great. Always right <laughs> we're always talking about how trash, we're always talking about how trash Xbox is. And then, you know, Papa comes over here to visit on PS4 and we get orbital cannon like a million times. What's up, tribe? Hey, psychosis. Welcome, guys. Nice to see you. I'm like 14. It's cool. Misfits 14? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I want to have... Misfit, I don't know, bud. Can we, can, we, can we talk about this with Misfit on this episode? I don't know. I'm a little bit uncomfortable about it, to be honest uh, with you. I'm pretty sure you need to sign an agreement when you're under the age of at least 17. Because most of these go sexual pretty fast. Like We were talking about choking and spanking in the last one. I'm going to feel really awkward if Misfit's mom is like, What the hell are you doing? He said, don't hurt my feelings. I spent $5. But do you know what I'm saying? Because I'm 30 grown. 30 is pretty cheap, though. So I'm grown. Mm. I feel like, I don't know. Well, we do have Poppy every now and then. But not on that kind of stuff. Well, I mean, she does, I mean, she witnessed 
that one video that we should not talk about that was you, like gave you to. know exact look at you i know what, what video no what video what no it's, tell me again though because i really don't know what you're talking about your butt eating video oh yeah she was too much of a fan of that i was like poppy stop avert your eyes right forget right? earmuffs kid so... don't be watching that oh that's so funny yeah you're right i did have to i did have to i had to lecture her on that i'm like kid don't talk to me about it it's not it's not, a, not we don't talk about it do as i say not as i do don't be ugh. anyway yeah. you act like i'm five and so but well, that's the thing we don't know no but he did spend no i'm not saying that yeah miss fake we'll get say. you in here I'm, I'm, I'm just yeah yeah we we'll... did say <laughs> here's the thing though is i do like i like the idea of having uh misfit in here because it um it'll give us a different generational perspective which i think is good oh my here we go with the young you know comments again here we go no well, well just i mean here you're of go. a different generation than me obviously i mean um and uh, this, <laughs> this guy, Misfit, will give us another one. Nah, it's not even like that. But we're just playing. We're just playing. With you kid. don't worry about it. We'll get him in here. Um, is there anybody else? Anybody else with a green name that wants to join? I didn't see who else may have spoken up. Papa, do you want to join? Dibs, I'm do you want to join? Dibs is at work. All right, Kayla Mike, said she do you want to join? Mike, as in like Magic Mike? Uh huh. Yeah, Mike as in like. The one and only Elite P. Yeah, we got a bunch of green green names in the Dirty's chat. Dirty's eighteen. Ha! Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I was eighteen before Kit was even born. Like long before. Like long Damn. before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn. Mm-hmm. All right, Papa's gonna go get his PS4. All right, Damn. we'll get you in here. And Dibs Imagine. will be on in about thirty minutes. Mike, right. I'm twelve. No, you're thirteen. Get it? But um, no, um. Uh, I need oh, to go get tea. Oh, Kit, I see what you did there. <laughs> no, <Wow>. no. <laughs> Please don't entertain no, that. 13, can I, I wait, get can it. Wait, can I have a ride? Can I have a ride? Yeah, I, mean, I, I need to wait guess. one second. Just hold on to the seat, what? though. Don't hold on to me. I don't want anybody to get No, I'm going to squeeze idea. you. What's up, Taco? Like teddy bear. Yo, Taco, you can join the chat if you want. I say anybody with the green name is welcome to join on Mike. <clears throat> we'll get you guys in here. And uh, let's go try okay, to right. stir up some headshots. All right, Kit, thank you. I should have done this before I left my apartment. Let me get uh, standby, guys. I apologize for the blue screen. You're not going to be able to hear Kit for a second. I got to go grab Misfit and pull him into the chat. Friend request: 1,080 friend requests. Good lord, good lord. Misfit, I got you, bud. Uh, White Moss, what's up, Dirty? Um, uh, okay. There we go. We got a little NOS NASCAR action in here. What up, NOS? Good to see you, bud. Okay. Always a pleasure. Let's go find some headshots to keep this moving. I'm on my way to work, unfortunately. Ah, oh, man, that's thanks, Taco. Yeah, I'm sorry for starting late, guys. You know how it is with me. Like, I'm always moving. I'm going from uh, the airport to the meeting to the hotel and do it all over again. So I'm in the, my third hotel uh, for the week. And uh, this is finally my last hotel for this week. So um, the good news is we have great uh, internet service here, really solid connection. So we should be able to get this stream off. We'll see. All right. Why is it still show the blue screen? Oh, okay. <clears throat> Never mind. It should be clear now. What's up, Zach? Cooking bacon, watching dirty, man. Tribe, I, yo, I could go for some bacon. I had some nice Mexican Didn't you have bacon lunch this morning? today. Nah, no. Yo, my breakfast kit, you know my breakfast agenda. It was completely wrecked. It was completely what? wrecked. Yeah. It was like, completely... we planned that out to the team. No, yeah, it was all messed up. What's up, Misfit? What? Hey there. Thanks for joining. How you doing? Uh, a little tired. Yeah? Yeah. It's, it's been an eventful day. <laughs> Very good. Yo, do me a favor. Turn down your, uh, turn down your monitor so that, uh... So that we don't get background noise, please. Uh, it should be off. Yeah. What are you eating audio from? This guy is up. Uh, you're gonna get the. You're gonna have to set your mic to share. Can you guys hear Misfit? Do you know how to do that, Misfit? It should be. It's on share right now. It's on share. Good man. Well done. Well done. So uh, let's see here. We got two over here. Let's go say hello to them. <coughs> All right. Sorry about that. No, you're good. You're good. 
So yeah, the topic for discussion today is uh, violence as it relates to human nature and why we like it. Um, and I don't even think it's in debate. You know what I mean? Like we initially were talking about the initial question on the uh, first stream was whether or not, in fact, human beings enjoy violence. And immediately, like we all just agreed, we do. People do. I'm not saying it. And you know, I think it's funny because it's it's contrary to what our moral beliefs would say as creatures that live in a society in close proximity together certainly you know violence amongst ourselves is anathema to what we would you know sort of aspire to and what we would hope to have for others right like you don't want violent people in your society um because you know they pose a risk you know what i'm saying so uh, oh here we go it's on Give me a headshot. Oh, he got me! What's on? So, Dude, what's um... On? What? Yeah. <laughs> Violence is on! The only one getting Violence. headshot... The only one getting headshot so far is me. Let's go try to fix that. Let's go try to fix that real quick. Oh, I'm on my way. I, I don't know. <laughs> so, the, uh... So, again, the, the notion is, like... You have a society that basically frowns upon violence, like, officially, uh, to the point where, you know, you go to prison if you commit violent acts, right? Uh-huh. What the f- Yo! Wow, give me a break. I hate I this. This is my first lobby. This is my first lobby. My bullets don't register in my first lobby, I swear. I don't know never, why that is. Never, never, Literally, never. every time I get on first lobby, I cannot get Again. registration. So I definitely had headshots on him, but they just did not count his due. So we're going to go have to try to remedy that. It's funny, though, like, as different people join the lobby, the registration changes for some reason. I don't know what that is. I don't know how it works. If the lobby host... Nah, this kid's got auto-aim. That's why he's getting headshots No, he doesn't. Like that. This kid no, 100% doesn't. has auto-aim. Did no, you not doesn't. see that? This kid's no, landing instant headshots, Kit. Oh, what happened, Kit? What happened? I this... died. I'm up on him. That's the first kill he's got. I, what? Who shot me in the back? Then. I'm getting Calm shot. Down. Oh my gosh. This is terrible. So the uh, it's the hotel. That's right, Nolly girl. You tell him. My skills are impeccable. It's this damn internet connection. Um, so go on, Kit. Oof. <laughs> no, I'm going to let you finish that. So I think that, you know, again, I think that this, it, again, we have these rules. And it's really funny the way society is because we have these rules that say... You know, violence is bad. Like, casual violence is bad. You can't just be punching people in the face, right? Like, um, or you could face, you know, potentially, you know, prison for it. Potentially face jail for it, at least. Um, so the question is, why is it that people who love violence so much, you know, how is this possible? <laughs> this kid is, like, literally just... He doesn't have FAA, though. That was not FAA. Oh, my gosh. I but his bullets twister. are shredding me. Shredding me. So again, um, it's like it's this it's this contradiction in terms where your natural inclination is to enjoy violence, but the rules of society say you can't. It's kind of like it's kind of like religion, where there's so many things that you love to do that religion says is un. I I am quitting. I'm I'm changing sessions. I have to. Like everybody, like my violence. head is like my head is like 47 <laughs> times too big in this lobby. I'm getting wrecked. Well, how did you not kill him? I just revolved him three times in a row. That's not appreciated. It's, That's yeah. not appreciated. Okay, let's be clear. <laughs> so the uh, so Kit, what do you think so about nice. it? What do you think about it? Why why do we why are we like why do we like know that violence is wrong and we shouldn't do it? But then by the same token, we engage in it, it you know gleefully whenever we can. We love watching it. We love Get in our entertainment and everything else. You know, I don't really know, per se. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just, it's, I guess it's like action. Like, when you watch something, you want to see action. You want to, like, you know, see something interesting. And, you, you know, like the people, risk like, or what? What is it about the action? I don't know. I mean, I know what you mean Wait, by why action. Why you watch like, it or why yeah, you're but why in it? Why violence? There's why two violence? Things. Yeah. I just like I really don't know, you know. I, I I don't. But I do know it's it's good to like like I'll stand on the side and like watch two people fight. I want to see who wins. I don't. Oh. 
See, for me, like, watching violence doesn't give me, like, a kind of, like, adrenaline rush, I yep. guess, for some yep. people it does. I guess for each person it's different, <clears throat> you know? Yep. Um, yeah, personally for me, like, watching violence on TV does not, like, give me some sort of satisfaction. It's just, I find it interesting. Hold up, I gotta um, block, I gotta block Soapy. Soapy, go get your own fucking channel, bitch ass. Alright, go on, Kit. Mm. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know. Like I said, for me, it does it doesn't give me that like real sense of like adrenaline satisfaction. It's just interesting to watch, yeah. you know. And you get hyped about it, and you can find like you find violence in the smallest things too. You know, I think on the last stream I I mentioned Mario Kart. Like, people get violent over Mario Kart. You know, like. I've seen some elbows thrown with Mark. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. so strange. If that's the competitiveness you know? of it. Yeah, yeah, Monopoly. Yeah. Like, Monopoly is one of the most violent games ever. Uh, is it, though? But, what? What are you talking about right now? What is it? You Yo, why does you every Monopoly? fucking bullet, like, literally every bullet is just destroying me? I have no, like, my character is just like a meat bag in this lobby. This is making me crazy. This is not fun. <laughs> this is not fun. My my bullets are like marshmallows, and every bullet that hit me is just like destroying me, destroying me. This makes me crazy. This happened to me the other night. I forget who I was fighting, but it was like two shot. Like every every time I'm just dying, two shot, two shot, two shot. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. Yeah. I so yeah, Mario Party, Mario Kart, and Monopoly <clears throat> literally ruin friendships. <laughs> like, it does. It's it's it. it like seriously, you know, it's and I think it's so. Funny. Look at this, two shotted about... from two shotted from three friggin' Just blocks leave away. Session. Yeah, I'm done with this Just session. Leave the session. I'm so man. done with this session. Jesus, I hate this game. <laughs> this game is so broken, so broken. I'm and... gonna suggest um, EP so that way you don't have to go through your. Thank you, Kit. You're muted right now because I'm inviting uh, EP. Sorry. I hate, this is one thing I just hate about this game, is like, I'm getting two shotted, I can't put, I can put 40 shots on these guys, they're not dying, but then they just instantly kill me. Makes me crazy. Makes me crazy. So, Misfit, what do you think, as, a, as somebody, as somebody See? who's significantly Monopoly. younger than us, like, what, do you find yourself drawn to, like, violent movies, violent games, that kind of thing? Mm, not really. But you play GTA. I mean... I, I, I can, uh, like, the, the game side, definitely, but movies, not really. I don't, as a person who's a gamer, I don't really watch movies, so. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I got you. What's up, Detroit Bookie? Welcome. What about the game Sorry? That game literally teaches you to be a dick to your friends. That's so true. Hey, Kaylee. How you doing, kid? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> What's up, Nos? So, um, go on, kid. I mean, that's just going to get to my point, though. Like, there are so many companies out there, and a lot of gaming companies specifically, they're making games more violent. Like, you were talking the other day about how you wish GTA had more gore, right? Yes. And then, of course, that's going to that's gonna put parents on an offense mm. because they don't want to, you know, have their child watching all this violent stuff because they obviously don't want their child to grow up violent, you know? Yeah. Um, but that's what people want to see and honestly like I said you can find violence or people get violent over the smallest cutest things yeah so I don't I don't even understand sometimes and there's been so many studies to where like you know violent games or just games in general like can better you as a person like your reaction time your ability to take in a bunch of things at once your your freaking I already said reaction time, right? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I got a headache. But just like things like that, and it's actually one of the like Call of Duty is actually used in therapy sessions now. So if all these games are so violent and they shouldn't, you know, like be around, why are we using it for th for physical therapies and stuff like that? Yeah, like, like I, you have I, to have a I release just... for that, or you have to be like exposed right. to it to almost desensitize yourself to it. Yo, what's up, EP? And does that make us better human beings yes. or worse? Welcome, Papa. I think it probably has I'm just something. To... It all in. Yeah, I think it probably has something to do, Kit. Though again, like with being exposed to it um, and being able to like 
deal with it in a way where you don't have significant consequences, right? That you don't have real risk, but you can kind of see it and process it mentally without, you know, the serious consequences. Who said it? Somebody just said it a minute ago, and I think they hit it right on the head. That if you're seeing, like, you think about this. You see two people fight. You get hyped up. You're like, yeah. Like, and like Kit said, you want to see who wins. You want to see how well they fight. You want to see how brave they are. You Like, all of that is fun and exciting. But the minute somebody gets knocked out cold and homeboy gets on top of them and just starts pummeling their face... All of a sudden, it gets quiet. You can hear that noise, and then you start to realize, like, this dude could die. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, with the blows that he's taken to his head. Like, that all of a sudden turns your stomach. Like, you instantly go from, like, that savage, like, hyped up, like, this is awesome, to, oh, no. You know what I mean? Like, this just got serious. This just got bad. So it seems like we like casual violence but we don't like serious violence with serious consequences. You think that's right, EP? Uh, I mean, it, it's, it, it truly depends on, on, I suppose, the different levels that you, you see nowadays. I mean, if you think back even 10 years ago, the level of violence that you, you actually wouldn't be exposed to at all in the media, like the news, think about the news, what you see every day now, mm -hmm. to the TV shows we watch, like HBO and Showtime, like not, you know, like from, from extreme nudity to blood and gore, like vicious, vicious violence, not just the, the basic violence yeah. that was kind of like, even back in the day, like, whoa, you know, it's like you didn't see blood. Now it's like it needs to be as as gruesome as, as possible you want yeah. to see that, that realistic stuff yeah so i don't know maybe it's just a desensitized view on things now that the more you see the more it doesn't really matter you need to see more it needs to be darker it needs to be edgier for it to have any kind of an emotional impact on you i don't yeah. know i think that's for sure true like if you again if yeah. you play games where you're constant oh shh, i just invited the wrong person where you see like and you're exposed to you know, video game violence. Um, well, just what, <laughs> yeah, what may have like really like gotten you going, getting your hat going before, is kind of like passe because you've already been exposed to higher levels of violence. So you do have that like escalation, if you will, um, where you just need more. You got to keep up in it, and we all know that in different aspects of life that you have, you know, sort of like yeah, in I'm anything, to, you I'm need more to... and more and more to get that fixed, to get that feeling. <laughs> That's it. I'm trying to even think of like a TV show that, like, I, I'm kind of like the first thing that came into my head when I was thinking about, okay, what show kind of kicked it off for me personally that where you're like, oh, wow, this is extreme, but I kind of like it. And I'm just thinking like The Sopranos. Yeah. I kind of felt like The Sopranos was maybe a beginning to another level with with uh, with TV shows like HBO taking that, which, you know, that changed the game. Do you know what I mean? It's like focus, it, it you know, focus less on, on films and it was more on TV shows with the the new cool thing, you know, Game of Thrones. Think of all these major, major, uh, you know, shows like Netflix and all of that. It's it's all about shows now. It's not about the 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 cinema experience really as much, you know. So, like Sopranos for me was definitely something where it was up a different level. Yeah, for sure. For TV show. Yeah, you for know? sure. So for sure. we have a donation duty, by the way, because I we know do? we were kind of getting into it. Yes. Who um, donated? Boogeyman donated? Boogeyman! Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate that very much. Hey, Papa. Yo, I appreciate that very much. How much? Let me see. God damn, Boogeyman! Yo, Boogeyman. You must be doing all right, I, bro. Congratulations. Can you, can you, can you, Papa, can you hear me? Congrats. Like, what? Yeah. Misfit, can huh? you hear me pretty good? What? Again? What's the matter? Mm -hmm. What? Okay, I'm just making sure, because I'm pretty sure I did say he donated, like, 50 bucks, and then, like, he had to, like, see it. 50 bucks? Yo, hey, Boogeyman, okay, congratulations right, on your success, man. I just noticed in the chat you donated 50 bucks. You must be doing all right, bro. Congratulations. Wow, Thank you very much, Boogeyman. For? Thank you very much. He's on the back of my bike. Let's get some, uh... <laughs> Let's get some uh, let's get some some of those uh, dollar sign emojis in the chat for uh, for Boogeyman to say thank. Oh, look at you guys are already all over it. I love it. I love it. The channel sponsors know what time it is. And uh, if you don't have if you don't have um, if you don't have access to the custom emojis for Boogeyman, 
Let's go with, I'm picking out an emoji right now for him. We're going to do a custom. I'm going with the ghost. I'm going with the ghost. Let's hit him with the ghost emoji for Boogeyman to say thank you, guys. Spam that in there real quick. Yo, thank you very much, guys. I Boogeyman, I really appreciate that, man. That's very kind of you. Very kind of you. All right, Maurice, video games and TV don't make people violent. It's something already there. People with that type of mentality just let it fuel their rage. Yo, I agree with that totally, Maurice, and I think that's kind of what I keep coming back to the more I think about this. <laughs> Is that I'm so on edge right now. I'm what's the matter? No what's the matter? Well, if you were over here, you would be witnessing what is going on, but you're over there. Okay, I'm heading Something. that way. I'm heading what that is, way. What is going on? But yeah, I, th I think, Maurice, I think you're absolutely right that you have, like, we're, we're, like, we wouldn't see all of this violence if there wasn't a market for it. If we didn't enjoy it, if it wasn't. Who's this? Oh my god, a rebreather on your bike, Kit. Kit, come with me. I got you. I got you, Kit. I don't know, I got off now. I got off. So I think that, you know, again, I think this is just like anything else. I mean, Kit was talking about Achilles the last time we talked about this and the fact that, you know, he wanted his name to ring out, you know, throughout all eternity and that his way of doing that, ensuring his place in history, in his mind, was being a great warrior. And, um, you know, so... But the point was, is you can be famous for all kinds of stuff. Why would you take the road of violence or as a warrior, as a, you know, a champion for your race in combat? Why would that be the thing that one would aspire to unless, again, there was some natural reward system. There was some value placed upon violence and how you, you know how skilled you are at it so where does that come from because i agree with maurice i think it's in us already i don't think that the violence we see is a product of um us being influenced by violence so much as the violence that we put into things is just our nature showing through in the things that we like if that makes sense what do you what do you think about that misfit about what <laughs> Do you think that? <laughs> do you think that? Do you think that people Sorry, like, I'm so like? No, well, I mean, do you think? I mean, particularly for, for people, <laughs> particularly for people of a younger generation who spend a lot of times playing shooter games, for example, or games that are yeah. violent. Do you think that? Do you think that the video games contribute to violent behavior among young people, or do you think that? Oh yeah, definitely. You do I think, think it does. That. Okay. Yeah, I think video games and taking a part in like shooting and stuff like that, like. Has a has a big deal, or it could, you know, could cause uh, somebody to get hurt by like shooting or whatever. I, I don't know how to explain it. In what ways do you think it diminishes like the seriousness of it? Like you just get so sh used to just shooting people that like I all of a sudden people, to switch to a real gun is less. Go on. I feel like people get so used to What's shooting at somebody or getting shot or seeing this violence that it's normal or that they don't get like traumatized by it and that it's per it's perfectly fine to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I, so which do you, so this is like a chicken or the egg type of conversation. Like, do you think that it's the video game that makes people inclined to sort of behave that way, or do you think that the video games are produced because, you know, people who make games know that people have that craving for them? You know what um, I'm saying? Like, which is which, which is the bigger the, influencer? I don't, I don't think it's the video games. I think it's the other thing you said about how the the creators know that sometimes people have a craving for it and yeah. that it could because nowadays it's always about the gore like if there's no gore in a game it doesn't make the game interesting it doesn't have Watch a good, out guys what like, the yo stopping now oh, 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 oh. <laughs> too many people there's an oppressor the only reason we're all not dead right now is because that kid chose not to literally just kill every single one yeah. of us with one rocket yeah it's the only it reason we're alive everybody. you guys need to get your map awareness up okay <laughs> like we can't one that could have been stopped it. yeah that could have been an eight piece like just because we're all like piling on top of each other that's funny that's oh, funny goodness. violence boils down to nature versus nurture yeah, we talked a little bit about that. And I tend to agree with that on some level that I think that you have you have people who, again, we're talking about different kinds of violence. Like one type of violence is, like I say, like recreational violence, like violence for the sake of, um, you know, sort of uh, entertainment purposes where there are no personal consequences, right? Where you don't feel any sense of guilt because you're somehow 
removed from it or insulated from it. So this is kind of like, again, that Roman Colosseum stuff where you have gladiators fighting to the death and the crowd is going crazy for it because you have like this social reinforcement of thousands of your neighbors standing there cheering and saying, yeah. So it's not like there's like this like social stigma around it because everybody is kind of like saying, not you know, it's good, you, it's you mean okay. like a mob mentality? Yeah, like you can indulge in it, you know, without consequence. Right. Right. Whereas, again, if you see somebody getting stabbed up in an alley, you're not necessarily going to stand there and be like, yeah, you're going to be like, oh, so you're going to stab me next? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, am I a witness? Do I have to worry? Is he going to try to kill me because I'm a witness? Because now all of a sudden there's consequences to that violence that could swing your way, and you don't really want to bring that on yourself. You know what I'm saying? This is that. Well, I don't know. I think I think uh, Misfit had a good point there. I mean, if you think about games specifically, yep. Like, uh, I mean, if you if you think about games that are combat games. Oh, here we go. But uh, <laughs> oh, Kit, did you just oh, bail? Shit. Kit, no, you totally sure just did. bailed. Kit has a press sure of PTSD. You, you bailed instantly. Kit that has a hilarious. press of PTSD. I sure did. <laughs> But, I know um, what kind of a target I get traveling with Dirty. I bail so as funny. soon as I hit rockets. Instantly. <laughs> Was it Barney McFly up there? No. Yeah, I think so. No, it's not him. I he's, don't even know. He's friendly. He's friendly. That person okay. in that car is friendly. Um, but like, if you think about games, like combat games that have no blood or gore in them, like you, you would naturally think it's a kid's game. Right. You know what I mean? It's the younger age group is, is, is stuck on it. But then the hardcore, reali more realistic style combat games or violence games are all like 18 plus yes. so are we programming it into to younger kids that if you want to be cool you gotta you play adult games don't play the little kitty games do you know what i mean it's right. it's uh, i think it's just programmed into society now and like i said with the news i mean bombings murders every single day people you know thousands of people dying all the time it's like it's it's nothing there's no real I don't know. It's it's. I don't know. That's that's. I what I, oh I mean, shit! Think about, Yo, I think I, about how many people yeah. like play like Fallout and like they see like oh this big old bomb and like we're gonna get bombed or like wow this is interesting and then soon you come down they're like traumatized by it because there's little kids just watching their big brother or sister or whatever just watching this big old bomb just go off on the screen. Yeah, and I mean like, I. They I grow up and they're just like, wow, I'm like traumatized by this. Like, right. And I tend to think that this is where, um, you know, like, like when I was younger, there was, there was some zombie, like, entertainment movies and that sort of thing, like, every once in a while. You know what I mean? But it wasn't, like, major franchises all the time. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, um, mm. whereas now, like, between The Walking Dead and, I don't, like, countless movies and video games... I you know I I think of that as almost like the indulge like the ultimate indulgence where you can kill you know 50 human beings but it's okay cuz they're brainless dead dead people but it still it satisfies that desire to like just lay waste to people the kind of thing that like Alexander the Great or Genghis Khan would be like you know would drive them on a daily is like you get to live out that power fantasy where you're just mowing down your fellow man and I hate to say it but I think that that probably ties into that you know a lot of the mass shootings that we see is that you have this desire to like feel the power over you know not just one person not just two people but you know potentially you know uh, you know many 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 dozens of people um right. like Papa's under attack so um uh, just, a, just a car it was just a car no, was it intentional or no I have no idea I'm I'm, I'm oh, oh, let's, let's get, get out of here let's go get it we got to get off this bike. That, uh, actually, there's enough targets around here that we're probably okay for a second. All right, so we want to nope, kill that, the brown Instantly. bike. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, yeah, like I said, I do think that, like, the zombie, the rise of, like, zombie Wait, cool. entertainment is, like, a... Um, oh it's the kind of thing that it allows you to, like, indulge in that ultimate fantasy of just... Not just there's killing a, one person or two, but, like, just killing everybody. You know what I mean? Just like a, a natural release. In a yes. Way. Yeah, or, yeah. And I think I remember, that's a question. Uh, oh, go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead, go ahead. I think that's a question I asked on the last stream, too. So, are games and movies getting more violent to basically curve our natural, like, want for it? Yeah, to pass Or that. are they. Yeah. 
Right. Is it giving us that outlet? So where, like, I mean, because if you think back in times, you know, to curve that, you know, you would go to the Coliseum or, you know, the Wild West, you know, people just shot people for no reason. Like, you want to, you just go and pick a fight and then bang, you know? Yeah. So, right. Like, you're going to get your violence one way or the other. You're going to scratch right. that itch one way or the other. Yeah. Right. And, I mean, honestly, like, think think about this as bullying, too. Verbal violence. It's bullying. Which yeah. is causing people to escalate, which is causing, like, like actual violence. You know what I'm saying? So, yep. I, don't, I don't know. Like, it is, is are video games, like, actually helping us? You know, curve it, or is it just making it worse? Because you get—I mean, Dirt, I'm sure you, you get on mic and you hear some 12-year-old, and he's all like, you know, saying some things he probably shouldn't be saying, and it like makes you want to go kill him, right? Right. right. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> is it helping or is it not? <laughs> like, because you know, you hear a 12-year-old talk like that in real life, you're like, okay, kid, and you just walk away. Right, yeah. you're like you got some bad parents, poor, poor kid. little thing. Yeah, you just yeah, you walk away. Yeah. Right, but on the game you're like, nah, I'm gonna go show this, you know, kid. This is a man's like, oh whatever, it's whatever dirty says. <laughs> that sounds like. <laughs> <it. laughs> what are you talking? Why, I, why am I? What? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> right. But you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so yeah. is it giving us an outlet or is it just giving us a reason to be more violent? You know, because me personally, as a parent, I would my my daughters trash talk now, oh, like they do. They call like, "Don't kill me, idiot!" I couldn't get, and I'm like, mm. "Yep." Ah, you know, it's yep. bad. Yep. But I'd rather them, I guess, be home than like. I mean, obviously, when they get older. But you know, I'd rather them be home and talking some smack on a video game and having that outlet where I know they're actually okay. Versus going out and not being okay. Right. Like right. anything can happen. Yeah. Yeah. No, for sure. And I, yeah, I think that there's. Um, yeah. I I think there's. I definitely think that there's something to like the games providing a little bit of an outlet for that. But it does. It definitely contributes to like crassness. And it, this we've talked about this ad nauseum, which is like just this notion that the anonymity of the internet allows like the, your most like despicable you know sort of social traits it provides an outlet for that again without consequences because you know the way you hear people talk to each other because um, they know nobody's going to kick their teeth in you know what i'm saying they talk all kinds of trash mm -hmm. you know like you know. No, if, if, if people's real life was exposed after they shit talk you you wouldn't see them again you we see that happen that's... yeah when people get doxxed yeah. all of a sudden yeah. they're like yo i'm so sorry like yeah like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I'm yeah. not even saying it's that's like a good they, thing. You, I'm just they, saying they become yeah. real, real quick. Yes. You know what I mean? It's like that's Reality it's like you said the, the anonymity of it. It's just it fucking um, it allows a bit too much of the darkness to be set free. You know, whereas uh, if you have to show your face and who you really are, what your life is really like, right. that shit talk would go would go away real fucking fast. You right. know what I mean? So right, um, right. That's a pity, but that's the way it is. You know, if they is it also about culture though too? Like um. You know, that's something that comes to mind. Like, Irish people like to fight. I saw somebody right? posted that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it, it, it's, I've, it's been playing through my mind. Like, you grow up in a bad area, you kind of learn to fight. Or if your family, you know, is just kind of, it's not, like, I don't know about what happens to everybody else, but I know when you go to my, like, family gatherings, pe like, we pull guns on each other. This, she's, she's punching me. <laughs> we do. We really do. And... Like that, I don't, I don't understand that. So is it like she was, that threw me all kinds? Of, now my thought process is gone. <laughs> no, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're like, saying. Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's totally like... circumstantial, though. It's, it really is where you're, where you're from. I mean, I'm Irish, but you know, <laughs> you go to one of my family reunions. We're just drinking and playing music. We're all musicians, so yeah. there's no fighting. There's no aggression. I, I didn't grow up that way, so um, that's what I'm saying. It, I think so it's is all it circumstance. Like... It's I think. Your family, how you grow up, life circumstances—that's it, it, it shapes everything of who you are and who you will become. And yeah. How you how you react to that, you know. So I think that's kind of the difference, though. You know, again, we were talking about like socially acceptable violence and how, 
you know, again, in particular, you see a lot more violence among females now, which, you know, historically you would not see, you know, the same level of violence mm -hmm. between females either, you know, fighting each other, fist fights in the streets or toting guns and all that nowadays. Like that is, that is, in my opinion, not a biological drive that females have to be fighting with each other or to be like, you know, again, toting guns in gangs. Like, I don't feel like that you know, again, it's consistent with what we've seen for millennia from the females of the species. But now, because of all the violence that we have, you know, that has become socially acceptable, you have this constant, like, one-upsmanship. Um, and now you even have females engaging in, you know, violence. And it's much more socially acceptable than it ever was historically. And I think that's, again, one of those nature versus nurture moments where the nurture aspect of it, and by that I just mean the, you know, the society you live in, what's considered socially acceptable is uh, definitely a change that we've seen even within our own lifetimes. Yeah. Okay, your friend is running. I can't chase her all day. No! Why, why are you chasing her? You said she attacked you, no? Yeah, but... It's a level 34, oh. and I'm pretty sure that I can handle it. Yo, watch out, there's a helicopter off radar right there, Kit! Ah! Right there! <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? As I jump off the bike, Whoa. swear. Bro. Ah! And I died anyways. Where Look at is that. he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I would have been safer on the bike apparently. Wrecked! Did he die? Mm. Nah, he got me. Oh, it's this bitch again, dude. Yo, look, whoever has soap added, somebody on my friends list. I'm gonna tell you right now, you gotta unfriend him, or I'm gonna go through and do a complete douching out on my friends list. I like fighting, I don't mind fighting, I don't even mind fighting this kid, but I can't stand people who are thirsty on my live streams. Like, they just keep coming out to every live stream because they like, you know, like obviously nobody gives a damn what this kid does every day. I just can't stand this stuff. I can't stand this stuff. Dirty loves violence. I do, Nolly girl, like I admit it. And, you know, again, I, you know, my, look at this Is he a passive? Pass yeah, dude, this kid. passive? This kid's a See, bomb. That's what he does. As soon as you get to the can you shot, please do a fucking passive. stream? Directed at Rockstar for this bullshit. They don't like, there care, shouldn't dude. be fucking no, they don't care. vehicles with combat capabilities. Jeez, they don't. Yeah, they don't care. You can hear they the violence care. in his. Like, look at his yeah. words. Yeah. Violence! I fucking. Yeah. It's, Calm this, down, I'm not a passive guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Calm yeah. down, yeah. Papa. It, it gets yeah. me going. This shit. You know what I mean? And this is. Uh, sorry. <laughs> okay. We're gonna lead the stream up. Calm down. <laughs> 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 but no, I, I definitely, I personally, like, I, I definitely, um, you know, I don't want to watch a TV show if it doesn't have violence in it. Like, I, like my Netflix history is like the most violent stuff you could possibly imagine. Like, just in terms of, you know, entertainment from that perspective. In terms of gaming, yeah, like I've always liked shooter games. Um, and certainly, again, you know, I talked about previously in my younger life. I used to love fist fighting, love fist fighting. And like my friends would be like, they'd be like, uh, we're going out. We don't know if we can bring you with us because we can't take you anywhere because you're always starting fights. You know what I mean? And, but like I, I did it recreationally. But for me, it was more, again, like that social drive. I liked the way it felt. I liked that, you know, the reputation. I liked the way females react to it. I liked the way people sort of watched what they said around you because not even that you're like the toughest guy on the planet. It's just more like, well, I know he'll punch me. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, do you really want to get your clothes messed up today? Do you really want to potentially get a bloody nose? Like, it's not that, you right. know, you're Billy Badass. It's just sort of most people won't. So you, you might want to find a, you know, a easier target, so to speak. So, but I definitely liked it because I like the social reinforcement. I like the way that it, people responded um to it and but part of a lot of it also i think initially came out of just fear you know my dad's a very macho guy i like how you phrase that yeah i know exactly what you're talking about but i like how you phrase that well done dirty well done <laughs> i'm saying though like my my dad is like a very aggressive type male and was always fist fighting all my cousins and uncles and that kind of thing that that way so like a lot of it comes out of fear and this is something that a lot of people don't want to admit to but like when you're young, when you're 12, 13, and you're around a bunch of aggressive males, like, you do sort of have, like, this, like, sense inside you, like, ooh, you know, I could get hurt, you know what I mean? And that, I think, drives violent behavior because you want to um, sort of live up to those expectations, fit in with the tribe mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, totally. Yeah, and I think particularly in different neighborhoods, you see that. Like, like for me, I know a lot of fights when I would particularly go to, like, strange neighborhoods and that sort of thing, like, I would throw first because you didn't know if somebody was trying to clown you and it was kind of like, 
you know, I'll never forget. I was in Boston one time. I, I, we were at this party. It was like a college party, though. It was like a northeastern party. And I remember my friend telling me um, his brother didn't want me to come because I always get in fights. I was like, dude, I'm not. What are you talking about? I'm totally chill. But I was walking by some kid. And he's like, I'd knock him out, and I drilled him right in his face, like instantly, right? <laughs> and so, and then everybody's looking at me, like, you know, you, well, you can't take you anywhere. And I'm like, no. I'm like, you don't understand. He said he would knock me out, and they're like. He's an idiot. He was joking. He was trying to show off for a girl. You don't have to hit him. And I'm like, well, I don't know that because if you let somebody talk to you that way, then it can escalate from there. Like he says that, then somebody else says it, then somebody really is punching you, then somebody's stabbing you. Like, so it's, in my mind, it was always like, you know, strike first. Um, and then, Cut it off before it gets too, too far. Yeah. And I'm, they're like, nah, he's just a dumb college kid. I mean, I was like 17, but like, you know, anyway, point being, the idea is like just again i think socially i think the acts of violence that you engage in have to do with social drivers but that lust and desire to just watch violence and you know be entertained by it i think is a biological driver in a lot of ways yeah i think it's a part of human nature for sure and not not everyone obviously but i mean a vast majority of the human race is you know that's why sports like boxing is you know yeah. Developed it to you know like the UFC now is which was like very whoa what the hell yeah. was going on back then with like five hundred pound dudes fighting little tiny karate dudes do you know what I mean it was like chaos but yeah. people it's just it grew from that and obviously rules came into play but that's why like UFC is so popular now it's because it's it's that it's that you're just that one step away from basically bare knuckle fighting which. You know, back to the 19, you know, early 1890s and all that. What are you talking about right now? The damn travel is over an island, bro. I could watch that all night on YouTube. <laughs> Can you understand them? Oh, I'm Irish. Up, I can't understand a goddamn thing. So <laughs> I it's love it. I, Snatch is one of my favorite movies. I can't believe I didn't put that on my 20 list. I love that movie. I love <laughs> it. it. You like Dags? Yeah, I like dags. <laughs> yeah, I like dogs. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. But seriously, yeah. Yeah, just I just like to say, Tinkers and Gypsies are this like a completely different race. It's like the forgotten Irish. People keep saying they're Irish travelers. Listen, they're a whole separate goddamn thing. The Tinkers, yeah. The Tinker. Well, we call them in Ireland. We call them Tinkers, and you know, in England and other places, they call them Gypsies and yeah, whatnot. Or, or Pike. I hate fucking Pikeys. Pikeys. Oh my <laughs> gosh, that is so great. That was great. I love the callout videos, dude. I could just watch the, the callout videos are better than the fights. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Because they don't have yeah. like some. I mean, some of the fights have gotten really <laughs> good. Like the original YouTube yeah. videos, they had that Did that Europe, fight? yeah, that European style of fighting. Now they fight more yeah. like Americans. Yeah. I mean, Americans have really influenced combat sports. I think even more so than you know some of the Asian cultures in a lot of ways. Um, just in terms of like how your, how your stand up game is. Um, you know, we got a lot more flow and a lot more rhythm and sure. you know, it's just more mechanically sound um yeah. and that comes from that that comes from prize fighting that not them knockout fights you know where you're after the blood and you want to put your man away yeah um but i mean sure look, look at mcgregor and mayweather yeah you know i mean two completely different worlds that McGre should not have met yeah but they did why because yeah. there is that want there is that need Who's that desire to watch dog. a spectacle yeah. Like that, exactly like that, boxing. No, no, no. That is two men with their egos fluffed up in full yeah. and money. And they want that. That's, that's yeah. combat. That's, yeah. that's but that's combat. That is sports. combat, right? It's all I about guess, ego, right? But completely. Just no. That should have never happened. I'm sorry. It was hilarious. I agree. I thought I thought change. McGregor did great. He had to change his. Yeah. He did very fucking well. I mean, he was great. obviously he was yeah. gonna lose. Yeah. But he did really. He got a good couple of shots in there. So. Oh. Yeah. But I mean, think about yeah. how much money people get paid just to fight. And I know people like some people are like, well, fighting's all I know, right? That's a that's a big phrase. Yeah. Fighting's all I know. Yeah. And it's like, do you? Yeah. Why? I don't understand that. Yeah. Like, what do you mean? That's all you know. That's well, all for, you're good at is is taking well, hits and, and throwing some, blows. Like sometimes, that, that is, like that's yes. the world they grew up in. Yeah, Mayweather's whole you family of I mean? boxes. His uncle, you know, is a is a boxer. His father's a boxer. Like, yeah, absolutely, absolutely, that's legit. So, is that is that I want to make my family proud, or is that I actually crave violence? No, well, like my. I, my dad used to make me fight when I was a kid, like all the time. Like it was, it was mandatory. Like it wasn't even, I didn't have a choice in the matter. And, um, so I think that, you know, for me, it became very natural 
because you know it's like some kids are learning how to do you know Chinese symbols and some kids are learning how to speak French and some kids are doing math and my dad's like I want you to roll up on that kid and beat his ass you know what I mean and if you don't Seriously? I'm gonna beat your ass yeah yeah legit so like I think oh, that man okay yeah so I think that that's very like I again I think you know for some people that is they get trained in that they get raised in that and they just don't know any different so I think Floyd Mayweather was always gonna be a fighter you know was always gonna be a fighter um could you imagine Floyd Mayweather saying, I want to play the violin? You know what I mean? <laughs> to, his, to his dad or his uncles or any the of them. Violence like, would have happened on him that day. Yeah, exactly. That's, I'd, yeah. I'd be the one challenging them, him then, Dirty. That's, that's what we go down to become the, the spectacle. Yeah. Both <laughs> Wraith. Off. Yeah, both Wraith. I mean, Wraith, the big question on here is like, why as, you know, mammals do we like it so much? My personal theory on it, and I haven't gotten too, I haven't gotten like, too deep into it yet but i just i think it's it, again for males i think it's very much biologically driven and i think it just comes down to the simple fact that like way back to our earliest times you know coming out of the caves or walking the deserts like you had to be prepared to defend yourself against wild animals you had to be able to defend yourself against other people and that if you are the male within the group or males within the group that were charged with defending the group there was tremendous benefit to you and your ability to carry on your genes to make sure your kids survive and um, to have the other people within your tribe respect you and care about you and make sure that you were you know whatever you know satisfied in every way like so I think that I, I do think that we evolved over time number one just survival of the fittest like the weak get killed and the stronger survive and part of and get to pass on their genes so the guys who are more violent are passing on that violence gene um, and the people who are more passive are getting eliminated now I think that that has changed dramatically and I think we're you know we're mutating in another direction right now as a species but you know, certainly from an evolutionary standpoint, um, going all the way back to, you know, coming out of the swamps, like, I definitely believe that, um, you know, that violence has been rewarded in that more aggressive males get to pass on their genes to the next generation and have a better chance of surviving. So, um, yeah, they get to breed and they get to pass, you know, and their children are more likely to survive if, if they have a more aggressive, you know, father, for example more capable in defending them protecting them from getting eaten by tigers <laughs> do you know what i mean <laughs> so so i do think we're hardwired yeah i do think we're hardwired for it um and i just think in terms of the violence that we see there's a lot of ego tied up in it certainly particularly on a national level um mm -hmm. i told kid i'm reading the the federalist papers right now which are um sort of at the founding of, you know just past the founding of the u.s in uh, 1787 before the Constitution was ratified, um, you have a discussion um, between, or, or you have, you know, papers presented by John Jay, Alexander Hamilton, and um, and uh, James Madison, where they are putting forward the case for a unified America as opposed to a bunch of disparate states. You know, which, you know, people think of states in the U.S. as something different than countries in Europe, but in reality, um, you know, in the old days, like. Pennsylvania thought of itself like a state, like the way France thought of itself like a state, or Germany thought of itself as a state within Europe. Um, so, the, you know, the questions were, you know, posed as to, you know, do we remain 13 independent colonies or do we band together into one federal confederation with one overarching, you know, federal structure um, and set of laws? And, you know, the big argument was human nature. They were like, yeah, we're all friends right now. And we can all sort of, you know, in our minds say this is what we want. We want to get along and we want to resolve things amicably. But the fact is you have charismatic personalities that arise throughout history who want more power. You're a politician. You want more power. It's human nature. And before you know it, Pennsylvania lowers their tariffs and starts to do a bigger import business. The governor or president of Virginia, you know, is now doing less business. He gets angry. He's got a bigger army. So he says, you know what, before Pennsylvania makes more money and is able to accrue a bigger army, I'm going to go attack them now. And but then before you know it, you have what you had in Europe back in those days where, you know, the Ottoman Empire, you know, the sort of, uh, you know, the uh, you had you had, you know, the Gauls in France fighting with the, you know, the uh, the Visigoths in Germany, like all this kind of thing where it was yeah. like it goes all the way back to constant 
warfare and that has such a huge economic drain um, that it would have been terrible for a country just trying to get off its feet and basically all the fighting amongst ourselves would have left us open to having the English come back in and, uh, and take over or France or somebody else. So this was one of the big arguments that they made is that you know, human nature is to, is to want more power. Regardless of what the laws say, regardless of what the books say, you cannot deny basic you know, humanity and that drive within your ego that makes you want to have more and more and more. Um, social esteem, physical strength, monetary gain, like all of the, you know, the, the display of resources that are attractive to others and help to reinforce your social status. Like that's human nature. Um, mm -hmm. So. Well, do you think gaming is kind of a part of that evolution? You know, like you said, it's yeah. you know, back in the day is the caveman and the, the guy with the biggest muscles who's the most aggressive. Yeah. You know, that, it, that, that was how things were dominated. But in society today, it's we've evolved we've changed it's uh, and maybe gaming is a way to flex for sure quote unquote yes without having to be expose yourself to the real consequences in the real world of being that aggressive around others in a social construct oh so, dude i think that's 100 so. percent legit kit what do you think about that i i think i said it on the last stream i think it is you know I agree with that almost 100%. Yeah. It's you know? the appeal, right? For particularly like a game yeah. like GTA, it is the appeal. Yeah. You get to live out your tough guy fantasy. You get to live out your criminal fantasy yeah. without catching the I mean, well, I don't. It. I'm the same. But, you know, I, I have heard <laughs> some women and some men, like, fluff up their chests, right? And, yeah. Like, oh, did people... Yeah. Yeah, no, I suggested him, by the way. Yeah. At least for me personally... A hundred percent true. Like I, again, I, when I was younger, I used to like doing bad stuff. I loved it. You know what I mean? You can't do Leo. that now. I have a family and a house and a job and all that kind of stuff. And you can't like, you can't risk all of that. I mean, unless that's the mm -hmm. path you've chosen, which I think is a bad idea. You know, somebody said to me the other day, like, oh, you know, you couldn't cut it in a 1% MC in real life. And I'm like, kid, I'm not trying to go to prison. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Absolutely not. I have a beautiful house and a wonderful family. Like, I like, you know, eating good and living good and all of that. Like, no, I, I have no desire to do that in real life in reality because the downside outweighs the upside. You know what I'm saying? The upside for me is I get to have yeah. a nice life. Would I like to have, would I like to be able to thumb my nose at the system and, you know, walk tall and I don't want to get into all of it, but like, you know, like, is there something appealing to that? Pot of absolutely that's appealing but the reality is the downside the consequences of it for me are more than i want to pay i do not want to go to prison like at all <laughs> do you know what i mean like i like yeah. sitting in my basement eating you know steak and playing video games you know what i mean like that yeah. to me is yeah. great so yeah. um i mean i think especially within the mc community it's a big thing for i mean there's there there are members in the community that in real life are actually part of MCs in real yeah, life Yeah, for well. sure. We have a But I mean, club, the yeah. vast majority are, are not. Yeah. I'm not a biker, but do I love that lifestyle? Do I, you know, th that fantasy, the Sons of Anarchy, all those influences? Of course, that's why you know, the Pop Wolf, all that shit, that's why all that's created. Yeah. But I mean, in real life, complete 180. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But maybe that's the aspect of the violence and with gaming. It is that sense. And you see with social media and Instagram and... IG banging and all that shit and the shout outs and the you know all that sort of stuff is very much I think is that virtual flexing for, for what sure. can be done in real life so maybe the gaming violence is a way to release what you know you couldn't get away with in real life and so you just do it on a video game and that's your that feeds that need that human nature part of you want to be a tough guy but you're really not and the game yeah. allows you to do that if you can shoot dots better than someone else then you feel you know what i mean maybe that's part totally. of it totally no know? totally i mean i was talking with i was talking with somebody about this the other day this is you see this i mean if we're going to talk about you know just antisocial behavior in general and like the reality <laughs> of real life versus what you want like all males not well maybe not all males but like certainly a you know a large percentage of males have within them a desire to be that alpha male, right? They have that, they have a desire to be physically imposing and to be strong and to be respected and, you know, feared on some level. Like all males have that, or not all, again, 
I would say a lot of males, somewhere on the spectrum of, you know, sort of based on your testosterone levels or whatever, they want that, but they're not capable of it. They're either, they're either too sure. afraid or they're not physically capable or, yeah. you know, whatever, right? A, a myriad exactly. of reasons. Life but is life. You are yeah, who you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. somewhere yeah. inside you, you have that. You know, I want to, you know, like that Viking, like I want to get off the boat with my beard glistening in the dew would burn a village. Do you know what I mean? Like there's some part of you yeah, that has that, you, you know what I'm saying? Of course. So yeah, you yeah. can, you can live that out sort of in a game like this where you have a human avatar and he or she has guns and they're fearless. They can, you know, plow into battle. So you do get to scratch that itch a little bit. And, but where I was talking about it is with, um, I think that there is like a generation of, and again, you also have the anonymity, so you can basically say the most horrible things and get that release of this is what an actual tough guy would say in this situation, even though you know you would never do it in real life. Nobody would talk like anyway. So, um, like, but <laughs> they still have that urge to get it out. And I think that I think that I was talking with a female about this that you have so many like weirdo males on the internet too that like in real life they have no they you know they all want a female partner right they all want female attention they all want sexual gratification but they can't get it in real life because you know again for a million different reasons so they get online and they say the most horrible things to females and they're like number one disgusting and then you know that disgustingness turns I'll be with a real man yeah yeah right yeah <laughs> it, it, it evolves all the way over into like creepy and dangerous where it's like you know, particularly, you know, they get a taste of it and then they go and then they realize like it's not real. It's not going further. They don't want that. And then all of a sudden, where's the headshots? I hear you. But they, then it turns into resentment because not only are you not physically or intellectually or whatever appealing to females in real life because you spend your whole life in your friggin' basement outside the sunshine and don't work out and don't you know, know how to interact with people socially. So you get no love in real life. But then online, your personality is so disgusting that even girls online don't even want to talk to you online. So it gets right to the heart of it that it's not just, you know, that you're a 90 pound weakling it's that you, you know, your personality sucks too. And that, then it turns into like serious resentment. And then you see some of these guys engaging in really disgusting behavior toward females. And I know because a lot of my friends are female, like Kit, you know, who I care about deeply, like she all the time has to put up with this stuff from these guys. And she'll tell me about something like, what is wrong with these fools? Like they're just in, but again, it comes from that. You have that innate drive within you, no matter what you look like or how you, you know, carry yourself in the real world or how appealing you are or how genuine and nice and sincere and intelligent, any of that kind of stuff. But like, you can't get it in real life. Now you can't get it online either. And you like become like so ugly and mean. And it's, um, I think that that, again, is part of this anonymity of being online and, you know, trying to find ways to scratch these natural urges that you can't scratch in real life. Oh, we've got, we've got a jet. Oh, good. I'm going to have to find a new lobby for headshots because, as Gnarly Boy points out, this is mostly just humanities and we're not getting any kills. There's a lot of perverts <laughs> on GTA 5, you ain't There's... lying, but does that staged violence... There's no violence! Oh, yeah, see? Yeah. There's no violence. We're like, we're yeah, getting all exactly. The we're chat's like, like that yeah. Fuck your philosophy. <laughs> Shut up. Shoot somebody. Shoot somebody. <laughs> oh, that's so no, funny. No, but that's the truth, though. How dirty? How many times have we always like we talk a lot about what are we gonna do on the next stream? What are we gonna do on the next stream? Let's do yeah. something different, right? Yeah, and yeah. We're like, oh yeah, let's do a photo session. Yeah, yeah. Five people show up. Nobody wants oh, to see it. Oh, let's just go around free mode. A hundred and two people. And nobody like, wants if, to see it. Yeah. Not, yeah, nothing else alone. Like, people come and watch your videos to see you rip headshots and to see you blow up tanks and blow up yeah. and everything else like that. Like, that in and of itself is proof where what people want to see and where where they are. The, 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 yeah. That. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the name of this look at the name of this live stream. I didn't know we were going to be doing this particular stream before naming the series Headshots and Humanities, right? The reason we wanted, the reason I wanted to do this stream is because I love like just intellectual discussions about human nature. I just like it, and I don't have a lot of, I don't have a lot of time in real life because I'm always traveling for business and that kind of thing. And you know, talking to people at the bar is usually not very, not very 
productive. So I uh, so I want to be able to talk about this stuff, and I find it fascinating, and I think that there's a real lack of intellectual, you know, sort of, you know, particularly for a lot of the people within the gaming community that, you know, they sort of, not a lot of them, but some of them anyway, like don't get exposed to a broad <laughs> range of ideas. No, I'm trying not to put it the right way because, I mean, you can just play yeah. GTA every night. I know you're trying to be soft about it, but uh, <laughs> let's just be honest. We sit inside play video games. We don't read books and yeah. everything else like that. So you're trying to expand yeah. your mind, son. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm yeah. legit, though. So I do want to do that, but, like, I recognize that if I literally said... Hey guys, like, we're starting a podcast where we're gonna talk about you know Plato and we're gonna talk about um, crickets. You know, mail yeah, literally, like nobody would, <laughs> nobody would show up, like nobody, nobody. So I, uh, son of a bitch. Yeah, the name headshots and, and even headshots coming first is very much calculated and it's based on again the recognition that it's the it's you know that <laughs> oh my. It's that, very much calculated because when people are looking like at the YouTube, they only see like part of the first word, and they see head, sh, and then they're like, "Oh, click on that. That's violence." They're yeah. Like, what is this? Yeah, yeah. Advertisement dirty. Well, I was thinking of it. You know, it's <laughs> funny. You know, if you talk about like how to get vegetables into your kid's life, like, oh, come on. like if you have a child who's Sorry. very picky, but you want him to eat vegetables, like you can take carrots yep. and you can macerate them and put them into like cookies. You know what I mean? Yep. Where the kid is, I'm eating a cookie, but they're getting vegetables too. So for this stream, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, don't worry, you'll get your violence, but you're gonna get some, you're gonna get some vegetables along with it. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna get your cookie. Oh. But you got, you're also going to get a dose of, uh, you know, stuff that hopefully challenges you um, intellectually and makes you think about things in a way that maybe you just don't on an everyday basis. So I'm all mad now. I'm all triggered. I, I dare somebody to put some carrots in my cookie. I didn't order no carrot cookie. <laughs> oh, that's that's so not... Funny. That's not okay. Yeah. Like, but that's my all mother that's tricked what I'm doing me for with this. years like that. Years. Ah, uh, fucking NPC screwed me. Uh, Did he buy sorry. you dinner first? There's your headshot, no. Nally girl. Boom. He didn't buy you dinner first. Oh man, he's not a no. gentleman then, bro. You need to. Rockstar, Rockstar <laughs> don't buy you shit. They take your money. They oh don't give you nothing. Oh my god, Rockstar. Sorry. I'm sorry. afraid for. Sorry. Kit and I were talking about this last night. Is like, like how expensive is Red Dead gonna be? Like they're rolling out the beta right now, and I'm just like expecting like loot crates on top of shot cards on top of like. I'm really nervous because I really want to love it's that game. $10. Yeah, but I don't dollars. want it to work. I don't want it to be another job. You know what I'm saying? I just want to enjoy it and love it and have fun playing it. Ooh. I don't know. It's pretty easy in the first one to make money. Like, I think I had yeah, like $2,000 sure, or something sure. in the first one. So, I mean, it's. What the f. Oh, lag! Fucking lag! Here comes violence! Here comes violence! Oh, it pisses me <laughs> off. Like, I'm dead before I can even see this fool, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's not shooting at me on my, on my screen, but I'm already dead. Alright, I can't move my feet. This is all this is all aim now. He can move his feet. Let's see... Oh, no, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna so die. So, somebody, somebody asked die. a Good question shooting, in the kid. chat that I was, like, particular to. And that was, do you think violence has been glorified in history? Yes. But why? Again, I think it goes back to the caveman days. I really do. I think it. I think that. I think that physical prowess and your ability to defend your tribe is a skill set that is that is valued over just about anything on a primal level. Like you have to be intelligent, right? You have to know not to eat, you know, the mushrooms with the oh, red cap because you're gonna, you know, you're gonna die. So you don't feed those to your kids. So you have to have the intelligence to figure that out. But then you also, again, have to be able to physically defend yourself against animals. You have to be able to go out there and, like, I mean, you think about what it took to, you know, kill an elk. You know, an elk we don't think of as, you know, a deadly animal nowadays. But if you had a stone-tipped stone spear, an elk is, you know, something that could end your life. So you had to be, you know, you had to have those combat skills to throw the spear effectively, have the physical strength and everything else to, you know, evade injury and that sort of thing and again people who excel at that their genes get passed on to the next generation and before you know it's hardwired into the species it just becomes part of who we are so i think that's personally i think that's why we have this even if we can't articulate it effectively we do have this like admiration for people who are capable of 
you know, being effective in combat, you know, in one form or another. Me, that's my I theory on it. That's that... my theory on it. I think that... Don't corner shoot, bro. Back... Just come out and fight. Come on. There it is. Back in, you know, like, older times, I guess, you know, I, I always come back to, like, the Roman Empire or, like, Greece or everything, like, because, I don't know, for some I reason, like, when I think Greece. violence, that's what I think, you know? And I think yeah. your son growing up and training him to fight, you're basically passing on. It's a glorified thing, right? Yep. You do that now, and it's frowned upon. Like, Fucking it's cowards. not... In some it's... places, in some societies. In, yes. In other pockets right. of society, it's considered, again, oh, I got new still board. very admirable. I don't even know who still played. Oh, give me a headshot. Oh, headshot. oh, nice shooting. Dude, I was all over that kid. Nice shooting. I went high on him by accident. There is an overlap somewhere causing violence to make a surge into real life that is alarming people today, but historically violence is not anything new by any passive. means. The hottest guy got the mammoth meat and the crusade was won by the strongest side. Attila the Hun. Yeah, I think you're on it, Newton. I, Newton, I do. I definitely think you're on it, Owen. Um, but I think that, you know, again, I think that the reality is violence is not on the rise. I think statistically it's, you know, it's very well documented that it is safer to be alive as a human being right now than it has ever been. We are far, there are far fewer wars going on, there are far fewer murders, there's far, like literally, it's not even close. You are, you are, this is the safest time to have ever lived on this planet as a human being. The difference though is violence is around us constantly. You have a 24-hour news cycle that, like, knows violent cells, so they are constantly talking about it. You know what I'm saying? It's They make it out, and they over-dramatize everything because they know that's going to get views. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's not that we're more violent. It's that we're being bombarded with violence and messages of fear so that, number one, you know, the, the entertainment value, the fear factor... The news plays on that, so they play everything up. Again, people talk about ISIS, right? Were ISIS horrible, dis you know, despicable human beings doing insanely violent things? Absolutely. Were they ever a threat to the United States of America? Absolutely not. You have 3,000 guys with, like, you know, they had no jets. They had no aircraft carriers. They have no drones. You have 3,000 dirtbags coming out of a cave. Well in beards with knives. So if you're a populace that has been disarmed by your governments so that people don't have the ability to fight back and defend themselves, then yeah, those guys are very dangerous. But to a country like the United States, you know how long ISIS would survive in America? About a, fr not a day and a half. You know what I'm saying? Like, they couldn't walk into any state in this union and take even one town before the, the, the wrath of God would be upon them. You know what I'm saying? Like, they are, but nonetheless, if you watch the news and you listen to the politicians and all of that kind of thing, you know, oh my God, like, they're, you know, they're the greatest threat to, but they're not. They, you know, but again, you would tend to think that they were based on the amount of information that we're bombarded with and the access that we have to view the violence that they were capable of. But again, historically speaking, Speaking, compared to a massive state like Germany or a massive state like the UK and going to war with them and their war machines, that's where you have massive casualties. So again, just from a numbers perspective, you know, the, the wars that we're fighting now tend to be, you know, you know, first world powers, the United States, Russia, China, not, not China so much, but certainly the United States, Russia, France, Germany, that kind of thing, are waging war against basically third world countries where the body counts are way lower on both sides. You know, I mean, again, it's a horrible tragedy that we lost any troops in the Middle East, but you're talking about losing something on the order of, you know, two to 3,000 war fighters compared to a half a million in previous wars, right? Just in the Civil War alone, 400,000 people died. Oh, he left. Do you know what I'm saying? So, who, the Wraith guy? No, I had Newport oh. in my lobby. Oh, I was getting headshots on this guy, so I'm enjoying that. So, again, just... I don't interrupt you, Dirty. Can you yep. send me an MC invite so I can get a bite? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> you were on a roll there. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want to... Yeah. No, just oh, again... Oh, put by... it in the chat, too. From, from, <laughs> a, from a historical <laughs> standpoint, you're just very... You know, you're, you're, we're, again, we're living in much safer times today than we ever have and you can look at the statistics you know i cited an article the last time we were talking about this where a study was done that said something like 
within human beings, like something like 20% of human beings back way back, caveman times, were killed by other human beings. And they can tell because they could look at your bones and see arrowheads embedded in them. They could look at the skulls and see the skulls crushed. And they could say, you know, this is human on human violence. So literally like a fifth of the population was at risk of being murdered by, you know, another portion of the population. Whereas today, those numbers are down, you know, in single digit percentages or below. So the simple fact is, you know, again, historically, you're, you're much less likely nowadays. Um, but the fact is humans are by far the most violent and most deadly species on the planet, right? Like people will say, well, what about killer whales? Well, what about lions? Well, what about all of those creatures no, are definitely... they kill out of necessity. They kill we out of kill necessity. Because, yeah. Right. We kill because we like it. We kill because it makes us feel stronger or more empowered over other people like you know you're talking about america being you know one of the top country it's like why because we have killed people to become on top we like, spend more know? on our military than the next 20 militaries combined right yeah so i mean and we're doing that for a reason you know yeah. and it just yeah 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 That's so it. i just so yeah we ki we kill within our own species more than you know any other you know, animals like there are other. Well, except I, I read something or saw something that said meerkats actually are more lethal to other meerkats. Like you would never think that, but they're pretty. Like they kill each other at a higher rate. Um, but human beings definitely. We you know we kill us all. We kill each other and everything else that walks, crawls, breathes, everything. or swims. Yeah, we kill everything. Whereas you know again, it was lions. The only species and, that kills to for for pleasure. Yeah, yeah. Other other species kill to survive. Right. Or to defend. Right. Whereas humans kill for fun. Right. Yeah. And those things, things those other things as well. But you know, <laughs> but, but we're the only species that does it for pleasure. Like yeah. hunting or truly for just entertainment. A, a thing on your wall. Yeah, truly yeah. for entertainment purposes. Yeah. yeah. But do you know what's funny, Papa, is this study that we looked at from the mice, it did show that that even mice do get you know their pleasure center lights up that sexual reward center that you know good food reward center <laughs> the cocaine too Didn't the they cocaine do, like, drugs center as well with it? Yeah, yeah it lights yeah. up it lights up within their brain when they engage in violence so they had a mouse that they trained where the mouse could either choose to open a door and introduce another male mouse that he could then attack and defeat or he could get food or he could get whatever and he would he would continuously and regularly invite another male into his cage just so he could kick that mouse's ass and when he did the center of his brain lit up that's the pleasure center of the brain he was consciously choosing to engage in that violence for pleasure which okay. again okay. yeah which again is so i you know you look at chimpanzees again you have seen that documentary of the chimpanzees that engaged in you know oh, serious yeah. warfare yeah so we're yeah, not yeah. we're not the only species but because of our brain capacity we're we're very capable, you know what I mean. No, I hear what you're saying. Twenty sixteen, more people died in Chicago from human on human violence than people died in Afghanistan, and that's a who said that? That's a this that's a that is redemption. a yeah redemption, dude. That is heartbreaking, and it is disgusting. Oh, quite frankly, it is a massive. Look out! Look out! Look out! Look out! Yeah, we should we should all as Americans be ashamed of that, quite frankly, that we allow that to go on. Because again, like I said, you know, if ISIS stormed into America and killed the number of people that die in Chicago on a summer, you know, a summer night uh, over the weekend, like the entire country would be mobilized in an instant. The hashtags would go out. The guys would be getting in their pickup trucks. Right, oh, like, goodness. like the the fighter jets would be scrambled. Right, if thir if ISIS killed thirty people in an American in Boston tomorrow, the entire nation wouldn't. St it would be on. You know what I'm saying? But we allow stuff like this to go on in places like Chicago, and, and like and, and to the point where it's not even reported on the news anymore because it's like, man, yeah, of course, of course, thirty people got shot in Chicago last night. It's Chicago. Like we've just sort of become so complacent to it. It's a, it's a, it's a crime, and again, it's despicable and it's sad. I'm no better than anybody else either, by the way, because I don't live in Chicago. I choose to live in a place where there's no murders every year. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah. But go on, Kit. You were saying. 
I think that because a lot of people actually did think that ISIS was on American soil, and they, you know, there was a lot. Why are you shooting RPGs at me? There was a lot of panic, right? Like, oh, if you're gonna walk into a Starbucks and it's just gonna like, yeah, yeah, terrorize like terrorization causes Ter a lot of violence. Is that yeah. a word? That sound that sounded good, didn't it? Well, I think it works. Terrorism. I think it works. No, ter 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 terrorism. Terrorization. Yeah, no, terrorism is absolutely ter yeah, terrorization. terrorization. I think that might be a word. That might be a word. Can we get a Google on that? We'll take it. We'll Can take we it. It sounded that? official. Uh, yeah, I'm a roll with it. But oh, like shit. seriously, Ooh, and then me. and then the the shootings at the concerts and everything else like that. Like, yeah. but that didn't That's stop true. people from going out and. Going to a new concert. Yeah. Like I, when I stayed in Vegas, I actually stayed at the Mandela Bay, you yeah. know. Yeah. And it's crazy to think that the same place I stayed, like I don't want to go back there. Right? I stayed at I Mandela stay there, there again. Yeah. I why it's a beautiful hotel. I mean, it was. It's kind of. It old is. Now. I stayed there when it was first open. It was dope. Sorry. Go on. It really is nice. It's really yeah. really nice. Yeah. But like it's, it. I don't know if creeps me out is the right word. But it it's is. Just like. Of course. There's a pall over it now. There's a vibe around it. For right. Sure. It's yeah, like, for sure. exactly. And it's like, violence happened here. <laughs> you know? Um, and I just, I don't, I do not want to leave my house, okay, to go to a bar to have a couple drinks with, you know, my friends and worry about, you know, like, is someone going to bomb this place right. and someone gonna come up and just shoot it up because you know they yeah. just it's Tuesday and they're bored like mm. that it, it's freaky right but at yeah. the same time though you know if someone's like you know if someone made a threat against like my family for example I that was the first place I would go violence I'm going to like rain that's hell ego. down upon you that's ego is it yeah it is yeah it's ego but yeah how how well I, I mean uh, it's your own <laughs> it's because it, there's a million reasons a lot of it has to do with a lot of it has to do with um, when somebody attacks somebody you love they're attacking you and um, you want you you that's an affront to your ego it sounds crazy but um, it's an affront to your ego that somebody would hurt somebody who's a loved one of yours and therefore honor calls for you to hurt them back and if you don't you have this at least I, I could definitely speak you know I have six younger sisters you know what I mean so for me it was always like if anybody hurt one of my sisters I knew I had to then go and set the precedent that that's unacceptable behavior you hurt one of mine and you're gonna get hurt ten times as bad um, and you know it was it was because if I didn't I wouldn't be able to live with myself I can't because you can't vi you can't fix violence with violence. You can't make the violence. You can't undo the violence that happened. You can't undo the hurt. You can't, you know, change what happened. But you can you can satisfy your sense of justice and your sense of dignity to say I went and did the work that had to be done. You know what I'm saying? I did the dirty work, so to speak, so that you don't. So that you know, again, you can you can continue to function in society without feeling like a bitch and to feel like. You know, you sort of did what was, what you felt was your moral compulsion. That you, you know, that you had to do that, um, because if not you, who? And how do you prevent, you know, future occurrences and that kind of thing? But that's, yeah, that's very much, you know, again, your sense of honor and duty, which all goes back to your own personal ego. You know, I'm not saying it's, I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm saying it's right. You know what I mean? Oh my goodness! It took forever to kill this person. I was like. Holding my breath, like just die. <laughs> <laughs> I know that feeling. I know that feeling. Jeez. Uh, but I get what see. you're saying. Like, you know, violence on violence is never, I guess, the answer. But sometimes, I guess, it's out of necessity. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. a minigun. It certainly feels that way, and uh, and it's There's very satisfying. There's a lot of people that will argue that point, though. What? A lot of people. What? That you know. If someone brings violence upon you, you don't have to escalate with violence back. Right. I mean, look at Gandhi. Look at uh, Martin Luther King. Look at you know people who've led peaceful you know revolutions and brought down empires. Um, there's there's definitely a case for it, but oof, 
there's a serious price to pay along that road. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. But again, that you can see somebody who puts aside their ego and says, you know, I'm not going to resort to the simple solution here. I'm going to go the tough road and I'm going to take the licks and I'm going to show in a different way that what they're doing is wrong. I'm not going to impose upon... Look at these headshots. How is that fool not dead? We got a wiggler, Kit. Uh, we got a wiggler. You keep jumping sessions on us. God damn it, you got to say when you're leaving. Oh, sorry. Yeah, once the combat <laughs> dies down, you can't, leave we can't stay. Once the combat dies down, we got to go find a new session. Listen, you never well, leave once the elderly the, alone. Once the fans show up, it's time to leave. <laughs> Oi. Let's try this again. <laughs> I wasn't doing too bad. Little three piece for that. There you go, guys. Little three piece He's... for you. No, no, no. Oh, you ISIS horrible. using the name of Islam. Don't even read the aspect you... of Islam. Most people died in terrorist attacks on Muslims. Yeah, that's a fact. That is a fact. But you know the. I'm not gonna. I'm yeah. I'm not even gonna talk about that. I'm not even gonna get into it. But yeah. No, I hear you. you they, yeah, please don't. No, please, yeah, I'm not, definitely not getting into that. Yeah, no, I'm not getting into no. that. It's too hot. It's too hot. That is one of those topics yeah. that's just too hot. Like, you don't get into that. I'm not getting into that. Um, but, yeah. So, I, yeah. I'm not going to do it. No. I'm not going to no. do it. I'm not no. going to do it. I want to. No. I talk about no. it in real life with people, but, I, yeah, that's not for public broadcast. Reframe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um... Yeah. So, Papa, what do you, what do you uh, what do you uh, what do you think of the conversation tonight? What do you think might make for a uh, a good topic on the next one? Because we're ninety minutes in now, and yep. I don't I don't want this time. to go too much farther. Yeah. What uh, what would you say is uh, based on what we talked about tonight? Is there anything you'd want to explore further? How did that happen? Um. Well, I mean, it depends on on the audience count, really. I mean, I think they want more wow. headshots than he, than than. <laughs> than <laughs> Kit, fuck that yeah. shit. <laughs> Kit, what do you think? Was, were there any other topics that we talked about tonight that you want to explore further? There was something tonight? I was thinking of, and I no. really wanted to like. I'm getting sniped. I gotta listen back to it. There was something we were talking about, and I really wanted to dig deeper into it, and I just can't remember what the heck it was. Aliens. <laughs> Aliens? No, no, Brand. No, that's what Brand said. Um, I do. We did talk about. I do want to talk about artificial intelligence on one of these. We didn't talk oh, about that's it a good tonight. One. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That's some freak. Listen, that's some freaky. I just finished watching The Matrix again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like we were. Uh, one of the things that that really triggered me on this is, um, in as, as part of you know what I was looking into information on this topic, and again it was the study of mice and their craving for violence and this kind of thing. There was a story, there was, and I'm gonna I'm gonna butcher it here because you know I'm not um, I'm not a scholar on any level, um, but like there there is a there was a study that was done I want to say in California where okay so anyway they can do gen genetic manipulation today obviously right at the embryonic stage where they can introduce the cells of one type of creature into another type of creature and you know at and have tremendous control over it, right? So one of the things that they can do is they can take a, um, and yeah, Nolly girl, let's talk about that too. The the standard the standard prison experiment. We can talk about that too um, before we wrap up tonight. But um, where they can literally take a photosensitive um, cell from a jellyfish that basically lights up under certain stimuli, right? Where the cells will actually glow, right? It's photoelectric. So, and what they did is they put that into a mouse's brain, and the way that they engineered the mouse's brain is that they attached these photosensitive cells so that they basically create almost like electric pulses when light shines on them. So what they did is they attached these to synapses within certain parts of the brain, and they were able to target um, a the portion of the brain which tr triggers you know, you have fight or flight, the fight mechanism, where they could literally flip a switch and turn it on. So what they did is they put LED lights into the brain of these mice, and I watched a video on this, it's crazy, where you'll have two mice in a cage, right? They're chilling, they're digging around in their wood chips, they're eating seeds, they're having a little water, they're hanging out, no big deal. Chips. And then they go, and then you see the light, like they, or like the indicator says, light activated. And then one of these mice, 
goes absolutely ape shit, like savage, like like unbelievably attacks the other mouse instantly with so much violence, like it's horrifying. Like and it's just in from one second to the next, this mouse goes completely psycho because they were they literally just shine literally shined a light in its brain and it triggered the synapses that said to attack. And then the second they shut the light off, the mouse went back to chilling. Like, no big deal. It was crazy. Like it's almost instantaneous? Instantaneous. So it's crazy. So I was thinking about, you know, talk about like the Manchurian candidate and this kind of stuff where you could do, you know, mind control and make people do horrible things. Like, this is one of those situations where the, the science is absolutely he, uh, Mark, is, is there. Is he sniping Dibs? Oh, Dibs can't see number 10. But yeah, the science is there. Like we have the ability to do genetic manipulation yeah, to the point where you can turn on and turn off certain areas of the brain of another being. Like how crazy is that? Like when are we gonna see the zombie armies? You know what I mean? Well, that to me was nuts, nuts. This is why when they talk about these people who do like mass shootings and stuff, and everybody's like, "Hey, he was really chill. I really got along with him well." And then all of a sudden they shoot up the place. You're like, "Well, wh why did he? Do why is this fool off radar?" Who is this? I don't, I, I don't this think is. that's. What well, it's Hell's Hell's Angels. Yeah, he's shooting. He's ghosts. shooting. I mean, he rolled up beeping. This is that typical thing that they do. They try to play friendly, and then they and then they attack you. It's so lame. Like if I'm you want to sure fight, let's just fight. Popcorn. This kid's not shooting now, but he got got. These guys are lame. I hate this stuff. They show up off radar beeping like, "Hey, I'm friendly." But they just got got. And then BAM! That's a little two-piece, some headshots for you. Alright, so let's talk about the standard prison experiment. Um, are you guys familiar with that, kid? Are you familiar with it? Papa, are you familiar with it? No, what what, what the hell is that? This is crazy. And this is... Uh, th there I are... think so, but I'm... Mm, like, I'm not too... F I think I know what it is, but I'm not too familiar with it, if that makes sense. Alright, I'm going to break it down as best I can. And I'm going to butcher it, because, you know, I haven't, like, read the full, like, scholarly article on it. I saw it first, I forget, I read about a, a very brief article, but there was also a, like a really crummy movie on it, but it, like a, but anyway, so the point is, there's a professor who does a, um, he wants to do an experiment with regard to human nature, and this goes back to, I think, the original work, the original work is, you have a person, and I'm sure most people have heard of this, you have one person sitting in one room, and you have another person sitting in another room. And you tell the person in one room, hey, push this button. And when you push this button, the person in the other room is going to be electrocuted, right? And the oh, person... Oh, yeah, I know this. You know that? All right. So they yeah, start out I, I, really... Yeah, I watched the video and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they start Sorry. out really <laughs> low. <laughs> No, nah, no. Nah. They start out really low, right? And they're like, even a little electrical charge. They're like, oh, you know, they wrestle with it. But then after they've done it a few times, they're like, eh, we're gonna, you know. and they're like, they're like, turn it up. And they're like, yeah. okay, turn it up. And then they turn it up. They turn it up. They turn it up. And and to the point where at least the person who's operating the electrical pulse believes that they're really doing harm to the person, but they just kind of don't care because they've been they've been like lulled into it. You know, it's like the frog in the warm water that you turn up to boiling. You know, they just kind of like let it happen. Um, so this kid's still off radar. These guys are There so was only lame. one person, I think, in that this study that MG, actually man. sent enough electrical charges to actually kill, to like kill they believe somebody. they killed somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Every everybody else stopped because they could hear a scream, right? They would, they yes. would click the button yes. and they could hear the scream. Yes. And so eventually people stopped after like the the one the one or two uh, because every time they clicked it, yeah. like it, some it, percentage it got, of people would stop. Right. Right, but the every time they clicked it, the um, the watts went up, so people, you know, it, it was hurting people more. Yeah. And there was there was yeah there was only one person that actually clicked it enough to actually kill, you know, stimulate that he was killing that person. Yeah. And it like they were trying to I guess figure out like why where people would stop like the the empathy of people I guess right right. Like, it's when you when you see something happen, um, when you see violence happen, like on TV, it's really not that big of a deal. Yeah. But then when you're in the situation, like what would people do? So right? I think yeah, I think the heart of it came down to the big question about the Nazis in Germany is how do you take people who are, you know, 
uh, working at a grocery store one day and staying the guy at Auschwitz the next. Like, how do you convince what, you know, for all intents and purposes and all outward appearances is just, you know, normal everyday folks and then, you know, convince you them know, to do atrocities? Oh, yeah? Okay. This should be, yeah, because, I mean, it's okay. it's a little com it's a little bit apart from violence, you know? Yeah. But it's basically understand, like, what would you do in that situation? The license. Like, what links would you, yeah, what... What what would cause somebody to just like as you say, working at Starbucks one minute and then flipping a switch and like strangling this poor woman because she's returned her freaking cup of coffee six times? Yeah, because everybody well everybody says everybody like vilifies the Germans and everybody says you know these are horrible people and they did these horrible things and they should all suffer. Right. But um, the guy Jordan Peterson who's yeah, Jordan Peterson. He's an oh, intellectual. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's a he's a professor of uh, sociology or something in Canada, and he's very outspoken on a lot of topics that Jesus I just I Christ. love. But he like tells his he's students like okay. everybody hates Nazis, right? And everybody's like, yeah. And he's like, there's about a 99 percent chance that every single one of you in this room would have been a Nazi if you lived in Germany in that time, right? Because the whole society mobilized behind that either out of fear or out of pride or out you know what i mean a million social motivators but the simple fact is you could not have mobilized a nation like that to do what they did without a very large majority engaging in the activity so to pretend that you are somehow superior morally than millions of germans in the 30s you're kidding yourself if you think you couldn't be lulled into that same kind of atrocious behavior. So, um, yeah, I, I vote yeah there's this a whole topic. discussion there, Kit. Right on. I'm with you on yep, that. I, I vote this topic because, I mean, you can you can dive into so many aspects, like why they did what they did. Yes. And frankly, as human beings, I mean, you you don't even have to take the German you know part away from it. There are doctors now in modern day and time that experiment on people. Yeah. Why? Because yeah. they they the person of knowledge is one reason. You know, fear, you know, getting getting, you know, stuck in a situation and potentially having to hurt somebody because you're scared of your like it rather them than me, yeah. you know, kind of mentality. For There's sure. so many like yeah, and I don't know. Kid, I'm with it. Let's topic. do that for the next talk. I'm down with that. I'm down with that. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. All right, so the next Headshots in Humanities, and again, now they go apologies. But yeah, <gasps> we're going to take your topic, and uh, I, I'm with Kid. I think we slide this into the next, the next uh, and have a full discussion on it. So we'll take the, we'll take the standard experiment, and uh, we'll expand that, and uh, we'll do that for the next topic. So I got to say... Uh, to Misfit, we lost Misfit somewhere along the way, but I want to say thank you very much to you, Misfit, for being on and contributing. I really enjoyed hearing your perspective on it. Uh, Papa, thank you for coming on, man. You logged into your... P oh, sorry, didn't mean to. Um, you logged on to your PS4 just to, to join us. I really appreciate that. And Kit, as always, you just always do an amazing job. So. Aw, thanks. Thank you. I, <laughs> it's, really I feel it. really bad, too, because I, I had so many, like... Um, like examples and like clear thoughts, you know. But you know, we had to restart the stream so many times, and I'm like, I felt like I was very like not involved in the conversation. Enough, you were, you were great. Yeah, Are you no. kidding me? Yeah, no. I thought you did awesome. <laughs> I thought you did awesome. And I sound horrible. I'm trying not to talk. So yeah. Stanford, Stanford in California, Stanford, California, not uh, not standard. I keep saying standard now. Like, wrote Stanford in, in the chat, but yeah, Stanford, the Stanford Research Project, Stanford Prison Project. So we'll, we'll include that. I'll send around some, uh, some materials for anybody who's not familiar with that particular study. I will send around a link for you guys to get up to speed on that. And there's just a ton of, like you said, Kit, there's a ton of, you know, subject matter in this area that's really accessible, really easy to mm -hmm. get at, um, and is interesting. It's wicked interesting. So I think that's a fantastic topic. So, Kit, thank you. That's really great. You're really welcome. Great. I'm with it. Good job. So, again, I want to say thank you very much uh, to everybody who watched. Um, I really appreciate you guys taking time out. I hope you enjoyed it. I try to get to the comments as best I can. One of the challenges, how, how? Are you kidding me? This kid, he just teleported into a corner and killed me in two shots. I hate this. 
I hate how broken this game is. Anyway, um, yeah. So, uh, again, I want to thank everybody who watched. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, you guys were, again, as always, your intellectual capabilities were shining through. And we got to see another side of you that I, I love to be able to, you know, see. I love having you pop and get out here and talk oh, about it. Kit, for everybody to see what I already know, which is that you're brilliant. <laughs> Great, that was so poorly timed. I'm sorry, dude. This is fucking awesome when it's RPGs. I swear to Christ. Uh, I want to say uh, a very sincere thank you to Boogeyman. Boogeyman, yo, thank you for that very generous donation. That is very much appreciated. Um, we had, again, a ton of sponsors in the chat tonight. Look at you, Cornish. You're such a hoe. I cannot stand fighting these guys who just sweat hey, and try hey, so hey, hard. Hey. Let's like, not, just let's, let's go not... and fight. You got five years on me. You hoes got a corner shoot too behind it? Let's not ruin an hour and a half long great stream yeah, true, because true. you know fans, all right? Because I don't, fans, I really I don't we, want we were the last talking awesome shit. Minutes. Yeah, like, right. Is, I, I you really need to keep this. Right. This is philosophical. Even though Papa said, was like, I'm gonna leave these like up. No, I'm gonna leave these up. I'm gonna try to. I'm <laughs> gonna try to. I'm gonna I try to curse chill. three times. I'm what? just glad we got through this whole stream without talking about choking and spanking in the bedroom because we, we were starting to head down that path in the last stream. Is a thing. And the stream died, and I was it like, was a I was like, Violence no, in the bedroom this just saved us. Pleasure. This just there saved. No, we're not gonna stop. We're not gonna open that can. Not on this one. All right. So again, oh, you BSC bitch. Again, I want to say. There you go. Thank you very much kit thank you papa thank you misfit for being on you guys all did great you acquitted yourselves well and again got to display another side of your personality and intellect that we don't always get to see so i love it and i love you guys for it and i appreciate it so uh again everybody who watched thank you very much i am ending the stream in three two one <laughs>